back in the heart of downtown Hazleton, throw anything in a stromboli and I will eat it. And that's what they're going to do right now inside of Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Inside now with Lauren Sacco, one of the owners. I'm here at Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Going to try a stromboli. Really quick, 101, which you should know about, I guess, Italian food, and that is the difference between stromboli and calzone is? Ricotta cheese goes in a calzone. There we go. Okay, yep. so everyone at home should know that. And you can call an order with good, and everyone's on the yep, same page. Yep, we're on point. We're on the same page. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about making the proper stromboli, the art of it. I've had some sometimes that are too doughy. Um, I guess you want to balance. Um, what, what's the philosophy here? Is there a secret or specialty? The key to our stromboli is a recipe that goes back to my grandfather. And the dough was the dough recipe was created by my grandfather. And for the last 22 years, and now that he's even no longer with us, we still follow the same recipe. He was very put good in, get good out. Every dough had to be weighed to the exact ounce. Couldn't be any more, couldn't be any less. You had to roll three, four times in your hand before you press it down in the pan. Um, and we used to laugh when we were young because you would just think that your grandparents would be a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, but when you get older and you realize there is a reason for everything that takes place, um, he instilled in us all the way back then that all the little proper steps leads to an outstanding outcome. Grandparents always know. I mean, as you yes, get older, you learn more and more that with exactly what they were talking about. You have so many options for your stromboli. I have a problem when I have parties, Penn State parties. Mm -hmm. I'll order one kind of stromboli, and people either don't eat it or I have to buy some for a vegetarian and this and that. And you have a way, you have a solution for that with a party tray. Mm -hmm. We can mix it up. Um, in my opinion, stromboli is very good room temperature as yes. well. It doesn't have to be hot piping out of the oven. The longer the stromboli sits a little bit and you let it set, I think you're getting the full taste of the three cheese blend we have in here. And you're tasting not only the goodness on the inside, but how good and tasty our dough is as well. So we could take a party tray and mix it up with a cold cut, a cheese steak, chicken cheese steak. We do bacon cheddar ranch, vegetable, spinach tomato ricotta. We do pierogi ones now for Lent as well. Um, you name it, you want it inside there, we could do it for you. Put it in there. Well, we're mm -hmm. going to try the most popular today, you said, the cheese, the cheese steak. stromboli. It's just so easy, the, the steak, everything. Um, now, I also like to grate a stromboli sometimes, this is just in my head, mm -hmm. um, is I eat it with a fork for a little bit, then I stop being polite, and, and I like when I can still pick it up like this, and look at that. Mm -hmm. That's hearty. It's not, you know, mm -hmm. falling over and... We're a stickler here for making sure everything that you eat here, whether it's a stromboli or something else, if we wouldn't eat it ourselves or we don't agree with what it looks like when it's presented to the table, it's not served. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask all those questions. And one thing else you should know about Frankie's is it's BYOB all the time. Um, yeah. Beer, wine, so come enjoy your stromboli and have a beer. And Lauren, I wanted to, I didn't bring beer with me this time, but Sam Jr. gave me these. This is a beer flavored candy. You're giving me so much food. I want you to try oh, really? this beer flavored candy. Um, I'm not going to let you know my opinion of them until I see the look on your face. I think you got the IPA one. IPA. You can just smell, it's kind of hoppy. Like, yeah, you do have to stab these things. More of a wine drinker. More, um, hmm. Did it hit you already? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? It's not bad. I would I never be able to get through a whole glass of beer of this. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about it these beer flavored candies yet, but you can bring your own beer or beer for, uh, can, 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 I'm please. a very big Rolling Rock person, so Rolling really? Rock pairs up really well with this. It's a nice Pennsylvania tradition <laughs> all in one place. This is a great Hazleton tradition. Try their most popular, you know what, try them all. Get one of the party trays. We'll be back at Frankie's.